The party is trapped in the mysterious demiplane of Barovia in one of four ways. The land is run by a crazy but also handsome vampire Strat von Zarovich residing at his spooky castle atop the mountain. The party's fate is sort of being predicted by Madame Eva, the head of Vistani. The Taroka cars define five important locations with stuff in them. A physical copy of Strat's lost Facebook page, the really fancy flashlight, the magical saber, the good fellow and the bad fellow, specifically the final confrontation with him. These locations can be anywhere, which is going to define your party's choices of where to go. But you can totally fudge the cards. Early on, the party is approached by Esmark asking to defend his half-sister Arena and get her somewhere away from the village of Barovia. Strahd has a crush on Arena, but because she's actually a reincarnation of his original crush, he keeps calling her Tatiana, which makes you question his intelligence, because misnaming a woman is the furthest you can get from winning her heart. Also, the village of Barovia has a death house, which is an optional starting adventure. The party finds out pretty soon that the only way to get home is to kill Strahd. In search of the stuff that will help them accomplish that, and also experience points, they explore the land of Barovia with a certain amount of randomness. Here at the Bone Grinder, the Coven of Witches eats little kids. At the town of Valaki, the players can take part in the struggle for power between the lunatic mayor and even more lunatic Lady Vactor. They can also meet the good White Raven family that runs the Bluewater Inn, the real brother of Arena, who's a real creep, and also Rictavio, who is totally not Rudolf and Richten the Vampire Hunter, I swear to God. And nearby, there is a permanent campsite for the Vistani and their Dusk Elf allies with Kazimir Velikov in charge. Once home to an arch wizard that helped build Castle Ravenloft, this is now a base of operations for Esmeralda Devonir. Her magic wagon is parked nearby and the party has a unique opportunity to accidentally blow it up. Kresk is arguably the safest place in the valley, but the the Abbey above is literally a home to the fallen angel in disguise who is literally stitching the corpses together into a bride for the vampire lord. This is the werewolf den. There are werewolves inside. The winery is where the were-raven guys make wine, and they might need some help to fight the evil druids. Here is where the evil druids usually party, and they are about to summon a huge tree monster to destroy some stuff. Here is where Baba Lisaga lives, who was a midwife to Strahd's mother, but now she's crazy and really dangerous. Argent must hold. Dead knights from the Order of the Silver Dragon walk around being really angry. The dead dragon himself has a quest for the party that will light a beacon and give a permanent and plus one bonus to armor class and saving throws to anyone who opposes Strahd. This dangerous area of the road is probably the only way to get to the Amber Temple, which is where Strahd had made a pact with the Dark Forces and became a vampire. Here the party can do a lot of stuff, including chatting with a lich suffering from Alzheimer's, assisting Kazimir Velikov in resurrecting his sister, and getting a bunch of dark gifts for a certain price. Strahd can and even has to appear before the party occasionally from the very beginning of the story and troll them by flexing his skills and flirting with Arena. At some point he will invite them to have a dinner with him at his castle, but it would be really crazy to go there before the party is armed to teeth. A lot of quests, though, back in the valley assume that the party goes in and out of the castle. Castle Ravenloft is a huge location with a huge dungeon, crypt, and a whole lot of really spooky stuff. The exact location of the final battle with Strahd is determined by the fortune telling. The vampire stat block is really not that impressive, but draining the party's resources beforehand and using his lair actions is what will make the fight challenging. After the vampire is dead, the mists dissolve and the heroes can safely return home.